Hey everyone, it's Greg Mazza, Home Care Breakthrough Solutions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we're gonna to talk about why you don't have enough caregivers. You know how many home care owners I talk to, they're like, I can grow my business by double, maybe even more, if I can just get more caregivers. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about what are the main reasons when I look at the industry, when I look at our clients and all the people that are that I've worked with, which is thousands of people that I've worked with in the home care space, what I often see as patterns is why they don't have enough caregivers. I'm gonna share some of these with you right now. Number one, not enough hooks in the water, right? You're not using enough sources, you're not investing enough and they don't all have to be uh, uh, financially investment, it could be investment of time and or resources, but Listen, if you can double your business with getting more caregivers, but you're not willing to invest or, or have enough sources that are driving applicants to you, you're missing the boat. You're not proactively recruiting, all right? We, some of you just post ads and like, I hope it comes to me, but you don't actually do other things to proactively help you find more, more recruiting. I mean, not more recruiting, more applicants, all right? We'll talk more about that in another video. Your ads, your ads suck. All right, for some of you, your ads look just like everybody else's, and that's a problem, because you're not standing out. Part of good advertising is being able to tap into people's emotion, being able to stand out, pattern interrupts, a whole bunch of stuff. We will do a, another video on that. An overcomplicated application process. So you ran an ad, and now people are like, oh man, this is a lot of work, and you have caregivers that are sitting in uh, a doctor's office or on a break or at a stoplight and they're applying, but it's just too complicated. So they're not gonna do it right now and they forget to come back to it. Inefficient processing time, start to finish. You're spending too much time trying to get people through the process. They get, I don't wanna say they get tired of it, but someone else beats them to the punch. You're like, oh, I'm gonna go work here instead. High turnover rate, right? Some of you, you're finding caregivers, but you're not keeping them. And there's reasons why that's happening. Uh, wrong person in the seat. I can't tell you how many clients I've worked with where literally they had the same process, the same system, same company, two different people in the seat for recruiting and one person outproduces the other person by double or more than double. I have one particular client I can, that I can talk about that came up recently, uh, pro having this one person in the seat, they were getting like one to two new hires a week, but once they had a new person in the seat, this person was getting them four to five new hires every week and it happened like three weeks in a row. All right, so wrong person in the seat, not enough cases, right? Part of the problem with you guys is that you might have 10 cases, 15 cases, 20 cases, which is not enough, there's not enough pieces of the puzzle, right? So one of the biggest reasons caregivers leave is because um, they're on the wrong cases and you don't have something else that you can give them or it's the wrong schedule. Pay rates, pay rates matter. Right? It's not the end all be all, but I can promise you it has an impact. So you need to have a process for looking at that. You're, you're not really training. You're not training your caregivers enough. It's one of their biggest complaints. You're not strategically recruiting, right? There's a process for doing more strategic recruiting instead of just saying, all right, uh, yes, I've got KPI set up and I'm getting people in the door, but it's not the right people. So when you have a process for strategic recruiting, it'll help you. Poor applicant follow-up. Right, someone applies, you call them once and that's it. What other things can you do to have multiple touch points to start creating more urgency and excitement? Uh, some of you are just not making recruiting a focus. You're too busy, you got too many other things you're working on and yet your business is suffering because you don't have enough caregivers, right? It's gotta become a focus. No KPIs. How do you know what areas in your recruiting system need to be addressed and fixed and tweaked if you're not tracking, right? You can play the guessing game all day long, but until you have the real data and the real information, you're just throwing, blindly throwing darts against the wall. Poor pre-screening process. Have you ever been ghosted on interviews? A lot, right? So for some of you, your interview show up rate stinks because your pre-screening process stinks. And I don't say that to be mean, it's just reality. You're treating it more as logistics versus actually having a good recruiting sales process not reconfirming interviews, not getting caregivers excited, right? Through the whole process, part of recruiting is getting people excited and creating urgency. 
um, focusing on the wrong things. You're focusing on some of the wrong things and it's impacting your business. So these are some of the top reasons, guys, why you're not getting enough caregivers through the doors. We're gonna be rolling out some videos that address some of these things. So I hope you found this useful and helpful. Uh, if you have it, we've got a free recruiting guide. You can download it below. We'll have it somewhere in the comments or somewhere below where you can download a free recruiting guide that will talk to you about all the key pieces for growing and scaling your, your home. Well, not growing and scaling, but um, scaling your recruiting systems and process. We talk about the four primary gaps and how you can close the gaps to improve your recruiting efforts. That's all I've got. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.